I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on linear equations. In this video, we'll discuss a test question. It is a multiple choice test question in which we need to find equation of a line from the given graph. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. You can also check my website for the latest videos. The question here is match the equation of the line with the following graph. The graph is given to you. We have a line which is going through two points, right? So you need to find which of these equations match with the equation of the line. The four choices are given in kind of transformed form. So follow your strategies and answer the question. We'll actually discuss two different strategies in this particular video to solve such questions. Strategy two, which I'm going to discuss with you, is a shortcut method, right? So that will be a shortcut method, which is going to save a lot of time in solving such questions. Now, the two points given to us are, you can always read them. You can say this point A is what? The X value being minus three, and the y value being 2. And the point B here is at minus 2, the value is minus 1. So these are the two points given to us, A and B. You need to find the equation of this line and then match with the four values. So you can pause the video now, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. I hope you have the answer, okay? Now let's see how to solve it. Let's follow the first strategy. Now, in the first strategy, we'll do as normal. We found the points. Well, in this case, I wrote A as a point which is minus 2, minus 1, and B, which is minus 3, 2. So these are the two points given to us on a line. So with the help of these two points, we can always find the equation of the line. So that is our strategy number one, where we find the equation of the line and then match the options. To find the equation, we'll first find the slope, which is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, right? So once you find the slope, which in this case is minus 3, we have 2 minus 1 divided by minus 3 minus of minus 2 is plus 2. And that gives you 3 over minus 1, and that is minus 3. So the slope of the line is minus 3. As you can see, in all the above, minus 3 is the slope. So, uh, well, any one of them could be the right solution. To find the equation of a line, we'll not substitute one of these points in the equation y equals to minus 3x plus b. So I chose to use the point a, which is minus 2, minus 1, minus 2 being the x value, minus 1 being the y value. So we get b as minus 1, and this is plus 6. When you bring it to the other side, it will be equal to minus 6, right? So this expression here is 6 plus b. Now when you bring 6 to the other side, you get minus 1 minus 6. So you get the value of b as minus 7. And therefore, the equation is y equals to minus 3x minus 7. Now you see, these equations are different. We need to write this equation in those terms to really match the solution. Now, how do we match? So, one way is, of course, you know minus 3x minus 7 is the correct equation. You can expand these and then match. It will take time, correct? So, what we notice here is the particular equation B, for example, when you expand this, minus 3 times x plus 2 minus 1, we do get minus 3x minus 6. And so that becomes the right solution. So you need to do this expansion, correct, to match. Now, this is a long process. You have done two steps. First, you found the equation, and then you're trying to match it, right? Now, here is a direct method, which we call as strategy two. 
we're going to apply the transformations to get the equations directly. So what are we assuming here is we're looking for the parent function. Do you see that? Parent function means the one which goes through the origin itself. What is the equation of that line? So we're looking for a line which is parallel through origin. So we found, well, using these two points, we can have, of course find the slope. So we'll find the slope m, which is equal to minus 3, as we did earlier. So these steps are common. So first step, of course, given two points, find the slope. The slope is minus 3. Now if the slope is minus 3 and the line goes through the origin, then what is the equation of that line? Well, that line should be minus 3x since it goes through the origin, correct? Now we have to look into these points and the transformation. The point which you can consider as minus 2 and 1 is basically moved but two units to left and one unit down, correct? So that is how you get your point. Two left means x plus 2 and 1 down means minus 1. Do you see that? Since this point is 1 down, we know it has to be minus 1 and since the point is on the left side, it will be x plus 2 and therefore the option B will be the right option, correct? So, so that becomes the correct option for us directly just by finding a line through the origin and then the transformation. So this is extremely a shortcut method to find the solution. I hope you understand and appreciate. So if you adopt this method, you really save time. So I hope you have understood the shortcut method and how do we solve such questions easily. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.